We're here in Stony Creek, New York, at the Combs Cabin. Can quick a, take a quick tour around the outside. We're on the north side of the building right now. You see there's some uh, outbuildings on the right side there. One's a woodshed. And the other one's got a, looks like a stove in there, so maybe a little winterized sleeping cabin or something. But here's the main cabin. Log cabin, all notched corners. I think that's an the V notches in the corners. I think that's pretty typical of some of the early log cabins. But you'll see, even on this north end, you'll see there's some evidence of some old uh, um, changes that were made. See, there used to be a chimney on the outside there. You can even see some of the blackened logs. Looks like the chimney has been long gone, but capped right up there. There's even a notch in the in the roof for it right by that plate. And that that right half where the gas tanks are, that's a little addition. Looks like the kitchen, that's the only window I can see in over there. Um, nice looking little cabin. Gonna take you over to the porch. The porch seems uh, pretty essential to the cabin. Gives it that I don't know if that lived-in look or that uh, like you want to sit down and rock in the chair for a while kind of a look. I think this cabin without the porch just wouldn't feel right. All nice sets of low windows on the front. Front door, the storm door, and there. Uh, Cabin name here, stencil on the door. A door knocker. And they've got the green man protecting the place. So far, the scariest thing I've seen is uh, this protector over the front door. <laughs> Looks like he's been keeping an eye out for uh, suspicious activity. All puns intended. I'm just going to back up so you can get a view of the east side of the cabin, which would be the entrance side. And you can see the porch roof has dropped down a, about a foot and a half. So there's a nice transition for the snow and stuff to come off. No, uh, no joinery up there between the two roofs. It actually makes it easier to Coming around to the south side. See all the all the log joinery looks pretty good. All the chinking is still fairly well intact. Though this is uh, this is Portland cement in here, I think and caulking, some kind of white caulking. So I think it's all, uh, and here's some clear silicone and some white silicone. So this is all stuff that's been put in after the fact. But, you know, to, to be true to the cabin, if you're gonna fix it up, we could uh, do that a little differently, which would make it last longer. Foundation's in good shape, so it looks like the cabin is, is very nice and straight. See how it tapers up to the top. And here, where we've got this view, you can see that the uh, the roof is now a composite of really the one-inch boards and some uh, what do they call that? Not gravel paper. Um, well, that's the tar paper with gravel on it. Then there's cedar shingles on top of that, and there's furring strips, and then there are is a metal roof. And from here, I don't know if you can see the uh, creature. Don't look at the chimney. This is the 
addition, the kitchen side sticks out about 10 feet from the main cabin. Comes down a little porch extension off the back here to cover the back door. That little porch goes into this addition that I think was the little sleeping quarters of them. Here's the roof on the kitchen and then up to the main cabin. Yeah, wood stove in there somewhere. There's that stack. Fairly uh, new addition woodshed. Ooh, Adirondack style to it. Back over to the north side of the cabin. Again, kind of where we started. shades on it so let's see if we get a look in there. There you go. I'm gonna try to get shadow there. Okay, you can go from the mullions. That's looking through plastic when I go over here through the painted glass. It's kind of neat in there. Okay, that's it.